Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penjant. Welcome back to Hospitalize. So, this is the TGC Infirmary just here. I am Dr. Penj. Of course, I'm a real doctor. Of course, I'm not a real doctor. I'm not a real doctor. I don't know anything. I can barely put a plaster on. can barely put a plaster on. At the sight of blood, boom, I'm fainted. I'm out like a light. So, um, yeah, I'm not a real doctor. I bought it off the internet, of course. And uh, this is the state of things at the moment. So, this is a waiting room, reception area. This is the doctor's sort of uh, room, examination room, kind of office thing Bob. This is a hallway. This is the staff room. I've been thinking, I've been thinking about whether having this hallway thing is the right way to go because I think it's going to be very expensive because what we've got to do now is we want to build a pharmacy. So a pharmacy, I assume, needs to be an individual room. However, we could just have a pharmacy area over here so this could be a little pharmacy area just here so what i'm thinking is we knock this wall down and we just turn this into a big sort of reception area we don't need this corridor thing here maybe if we need corridors we'll build them elsewhere but it's very wide as well for a corridor it's six tiles wide it's six squares big which i think is just too excessive if you put you know if there were three wide to how, or maybe even four wide, you could have doors sort of in the center. You could put stuff on one side, so you could have vending machines and water things and whatever else down one side. You still got a space for three squares for people to walk through and do stuff. I just think this is going to be wasted space. In hindsight, now it's going to be wasted space. I had a little look at how much it was going to cost if I were to expand this corridor a bit up. So I've got 21 grand, but a lot of that came from these things. It came from completing these little board of director mission things not actually coming from curing the patients. We've only got two people in at the minute. But let's just take a quick look. If we do this, let's say if we just build that up to say there, that's three and a half thousand pounds because it's in pounds, which is nice. Three and a half grand is quite a lot of money from that. From the 21 grand, three and a half is a substantial chunk of that. And it's just going to go into an empty corridor. So I think what we do is we change this. We don't have this as a, as a separate sort of uh, separate hallway and then waiting room. We make this all one big thing. We have this as a big, giant waiting room. And then we can have lots of other things pinging off it this way. We've got the staff room here. That's fine. We might need to extend this up a little tiny bit. But that's fine. And then we can have another doctor room here. Because I think another doctor's room is going to be required. Because as we get more patients, we're going to need more doctors to go and see them. Which is good, because our reputation will slowly creep up. Well, I hope it does. <laughs> it might all go wrong. Everyone might just die. I'm being a little bit presumptive there. But if our reputation goes up we may well need more doctors to deal with the increased number of patients. So I think, yeah, what we do is we just make this into one big room, maybe expand it up a couple of tiles, and then just in the corner, perhaps, maybe just in the corner up there somewhere, turn that into the um, the pharmacy bit. So is it, a, is it actually called a pharmacy? Yes, like a chemist bit. So that could just be up in the corner. It doesn't necessarily need to be an individual room with its own walls and doors and whatever, because I don't know how big a pharmacy needs to be or what one needs are there really obvious things? Medical. I bet it's one of those, isn't it? I bet it's a medical locker and a desk and possibly a medical cabinet and maybe something else. An equipment shelf, possibly. Maybe that kind of thing. Sofas. I didn't notice I'd unlock sofas. That's very exciting. Can we not just put loads of sofas round? Everyone can just sit on sofas. So, um... I think that's the plan. Merge this. Because it's a bit silly in hindsight having it all as one big thing. So let's start now, shall we? Let's get rid of that. Let's get that in. Let's get those guys to do that. So the, the caretaker people will run in and start dismantling things. That's fine. Oh, we get money back. Oh, they've dismantled the vending machines as well. A and, the, and the floors and the wall, in fact. Okay. Um, I didn't realise they were going to dismantle everything next to the wall. Is, is that what I clicked on? I, I'm fairly certain I didn't click on the chairs or the vending machines. I clicked straight down that wall. Uh, okay. Right. Well, good. We'll, we'll make do with that then. Let's put a wall back in. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. Now, does that, does, does that fill that up? Does that fill that up and make this go light again? Because it's gone all dark at the minute, which is probably a bad thing. It means that this is closed, I imagine. Come on, put more thing in. I have, I have learned that these are called rebars. These are rebars. These bar things in the middle. Yes, rebars. That's that's what they are. Right, are you going to do the last bit? And does this fill in the flooring? Yes, okay, right. So you fill that in as a nice big area. Okay, pause. Now, has that unzoned this? Yes, it has. So currently we have no... Uh, reception area. We have no reception. We need a waiting room as well. Ow, there are no chairs. 
So that can be a reception, which is fine. Uh, and if I get myself... Ideally, we want to move this, don't we? So if we store that, do they come in and do that? They take a paycheck. Do the little guys take a paycheck every time they come and do something? Right, so that's stored. So now if we move that, so if we go down to... Uh, not decoration, furniture, you silly man. Uh, that one, there's one of those in storage. So if we rotate it round, as people come in, they can just come in here, look. And that can be the check-in desk. How about having it in the corner just there? Why the heck not? That'll do. And then we can put chairs going down, like in lines, which makes perfect sense. So we'll have one sort of there, like this. Three, four. And then like that look. And that's enough for eight. And then we'll have more chairs there. One, two, three, four. Turn it around. Five, six, seven, eight. That should be plenty of chairs for right now. So now there's three people in, in fact. Look, there are three people in which is exciting. And now we should be able to click on this, I believe, and zone it as a waiting room and a reception area. Yes. Okay, right. And now people can sit down because the chairs are indeed there. All those guys go away. Do we need that many people to put some chairs down? I mean, that's a lot of money that we've just gone on paying you guys to basically come in and put a chair. Hang on. Hang on. What's happened here? What? <laughs> this woman has had a medical incident, I believe. Oh, dear. Um... Should we be worried about the fact that there's no information and her, her feeling is 100 and her mobility is good? Yet I would say, looking at her, that she's after some delicious brains to eat. Um, doctors, doctor, can we can we see this lady, please? She appears to have appears to have made blood everywhere. There's blood all over the place. I know you're seeing the nurse. Okay, yeah, this is getting very confusing with what's going on down here with the nurse and the doctor and such like. Okay, now. Also, we want to put in the vending machine. I think the vending machine can go back in. Let's pop that up. Yeah, there maybe. Let's pop that just... Oh, do we want that? Do we want the little pharmacy to be just there? Maybe we could put the pharmacy just there. Can we store all these items? Oh, we can sell the plant. Uh, store the dustbin. Store the trash can. Store the board. Okay, so store all those things away. I don't like the fact that there's blood on the floor. And there's all sorts of other stuff as well. Where is our cleaner? Where is the cleaner? And why have you been seen to? Have you been seen? Uh, yeah, can we can we do a patient consultation, please, on this? Doctor Penge should not be having to tell people to do this. Surely, Doctor Penge should be sitting back, not doing anything. Patient consultation. You've got what? A fever, a cough, an undesirable chest pain, and a modest runny nose. You've probably just got a cold again, buddy. It's probably just you. Okay, but yes, yeah, so those who can be seen. We've got four people in now. Okay. Um, right, okay. Now, what designates a room, however? This is interesting, isn't it? I don't know quite what designates... Like, Obviously, the, these walls designate a room, but can I draw a line on the floor to say, okay, all of this room up to here is, is a waiting room and whatever else it is, reception, but this bit in the corner is a pharmacy. Or do I have to have an individually walled room for a pharmacy? Now, that room has two uses. What do I need for a pharmacy? An equipment shelf and a medical locker. An equipment shelf and a medical locker. Uh, okay. Does it need a counter as well? Hang on, let's go down there. Does that does that help? If I click on this and go to a pharmacy. Yeah, so it needs a counter, an equipment shelf and a medical locker. Okay, let's build one of those. What could possibly go wrong? So a medical locker. So up here, I'm going to put the pharmacy bit up here in this corner. I think that's a good idea. So if we have a gap for the door for the new doctor's surgery, which we're going to put in the doctor's room, whatever it is. So let's have a medical locker. Oh, what else was it? If only I had a brain. An equipment shelf, a medical locker and a counter. Okay, pause. Hang on. A uh, medical locker... Let's put a counter down anyway. Now, I know we've already got a counter over there, but this could be the pharmacy sort of counter. So that can go just there. And then what was it? A shelf of some sort, an equipment shelf. Okay, well, can that just go literally right there? Is that all fine? Can someone fit behind there adequately to do their job? I don't know why it's not nearer the wall. It seems a little bit far away from the wall, does the equipment shelf. But okay. Yeah, it's on the top square. It's just it's just very big. Okay, so now if I go to that and click that, can I make that a pharmacy as well? Aha! -ha. Okay, right. So now we have a little pharmacy in play. Where is everybody? Where is the cleaner? 
In fact, there's nobody here at all, is there? I think we might need a night shift. <laughs> I suspect a night shift might be quite a useful thing. Before we build another doctor's room, how about we get some people here overnight? And also, also, do we go to here? Hospital options, procedure policy. Do we do this? Doctor consultation procedure, hurry to get more people through. Because we're, we're, we're here a long time. We're here a long, long time. And physical exam, uh, let's leave that as normal. But yeah, doctor consultation, let's hurry that along, shall we please? That'd be really good if you could speed that on. Uh, okay, yeah, let's not build the other doctor surgery just yet. Let's get ourselves some more people. So currently, in the poly clinic, we have too many windows open. That's what we have. Um, 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 staff, staff, there. So we've got... Two in the day, two in the evening. We need two in the night time, don't we? We need a, a nurse and a doctor at night to do stuff. So have we got anybody? We've got two caretakers and an administrator. That is not useful. Um, uh, also, yeah, the, I've mean, got nurses. Uh, not nurses, cleaners as well. Where are the... How do I administer the ones that don't fit into a sort of a medical thing? So they're not... Look, like 14 staff and two patients... So where are my other staff? It says all, 14 staff. Yeah, I've got four just there. Like, how do I get to the other staff? I want to look at the ones that, that like the, the other dudes, the cleaners, because I want to adjust the cleaners hours. I want one to come in later. I want to come in overnight, maybe. Maybe we need to employ another cleaner, possibly. Okay, so let's have a look then. We need to do some of this then. So uh, recruitment... We need a doctor and a nurse. It's very expensive to hire these things. So, uh, yes, we're looking for a doctor. Proposed salary of something like 30 an hour. And let's just do the minimum we can do to make it run for two hours. So 607, so it's going to cost 1,100 to just get potentially a doctor in. So here we go. Now, I don't know if the hour makes any difference. I don't know if doing this at four in the morning makes a difference if I did it at 10 in the morning. Oh, come on. Come on, give me someone. One hour's gone by. Nothing. Oh, don't tell me I've just wasted 1100. Oh, no, 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 no. Doctor, you silly man. Oh, still no. <laughs> still no good. <gasps> Benjamin Evans. Yes. Oh, and he's a gastroenterologist. That means he looks at your, your gastroenteritical tract. Uh, it's to do with food and digestion and stuff, isn't it? I made that last word up. Could you tell? Um. Yeah, go on. We'll take him. We'll hire him. That's good. Uh, I wonder if we'll get any other doctors in. They'll probably want for like two pounds an hour or something. Uh, oh, no, but he, no, he's nowhere as good as the other guy. He's a bit cheaper, but he's not as good. So that's quite encouraging. Right, and then we need a nurse. So let's get a nurse in. And they can get paid. A, I think they get paid a bit less, but not that much less. Something like that there. Look, 2105 knock an hour. Post job offer for the nurse. We just while that runs, let's go to the Bolly Clinic. Let's add him, Dr. Benjamin Evans, caretaker leave. What? He's not a caretaker. He was a doctor, wasn't he? He came up in the caretaker leave. I don't know what that means. Um, I mean, he's got a thing there. He's got a thing there. Why does it say caretaker on it? That's very worrying. Okay, you can do the night shift. And then we want to get ourselves a nurse who can also do the night shift. So come on then, time is running on. Okay, Trinity Long, Ivy Grey. Let's have a look at these two. Uh, right, she's far better. Trinity Long, do you know what? You'll do. You will absolutely do. We will hire you right now and you can go into ad employee. Trinity Long, Trinity Long can go into the night shift. So we've got people here all the time. We've got people here all the time. Right, where are the cleaners? What time do the cleaners start? Can I employ a cleaner as well to have a cleaner here all day, every day? Right, the doctor is... <laughs> the doctor comes straight in and just goes for a sit down. Nothing to do. And you're Benjamin Evans. You're supposed to be on the night shift. Why have you come in at 7.15 in the morning? You're supposed to be a doctor. And where are the doctor... Where is the doctor that's supposed to be here now? Isn't there supposed to be a doctor that's supposed to be there right now? Benjamin Evans is doing a patient consultation. Whereas... Hang on, I know what's going on. Isn't there one that's supposed to... A doctor role, sorted by that. Liam Brown has nothing to do. Even though he's on the day shift. Is he coming... I'm very confused. I'm right. Ah, ah, right, cleaners. There you go. What can I do with you? Oh, okay, right. I have to just adjust your thing. Right, can you do evening then, please? 
And then can we get ourselves a cleaner? A cleaner to come in at night time? No, never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to bother with that. Can you clean up this pile of blood on the floor? <laughs> I'd very much like it if you clean up the blood. Yay, the blood's gone. <laughs> That's good. That's nice and encouraging at least. Okay. So the nurse is doing the nurse is doing the procedure right. I don't know if that's good or bad, but okie doke, that's a thing. Right, what else could we build? Yeah, this is a problem, isn't it? I can't remember what this I can't remember what it gave us now. I can't remember what that gave us. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can figure out what it was. Ah, it was um it was uh, toilet facilities, wasn't it? Toilets and sinks. Okay. So do we want to build ourselves? A W C. Possibly, can we build just there? Because that'd be really nice. If we could build down here, that'd be ideal. Just pop that just there, look. Just have that as a W C just to sit down there. Because we're not going to use this space for anything else, to be perfectly honest, are we? Or are we going to expand it out and have three oh hang on. No, no, right, abandon that. Hang on. We could bring that down and have another doctor thing just there, another doctor room, couldn't we? That would be quite good. Uh, but, but yeah, when it gets busier, another doctor room down there could be quite good and some more waiting room space. So another one up there. So should we just put restroom there or restroom here? Where should we put the restroom? I don't know. See, this room here now, the staff room is in not, not an ideal place, if I'm completely honest. This staff room is not in a good position. Why is the nurse doing all of the work? I don't understand. Doctor... Doctor, you're, you're on the evening shift now. It's your job. You get paid forty-four seventy-one an hour. And you're saying you've got nothing to do. Yet there are patients in here requiring stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know what to do. Am I supposed to do any of this? Diagnosis stuff? I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Do a physical examination on him? Or shall we just check him out? Ooh, 541. Yes, okay, you can just be discharged. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's just discharge you. Right, you. Oh, this is a bit annoying I have to go up there. Right? You haven't even been seen yet. Brilliant. That's good. You're standing on the desk, which probably isn't good. Ooh, 496. Okay, you can be discharged as well. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, you can go away. Whatever. You've got tonsillitis. You're going to pick up your stuff, and then you can go away. So you can pick up your pills. There you go. Reputation minus five, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. 167 is pretty good. Right. Now the doctor is coming back and seeing people. Right. Good. The doctor's actually doing something at long last. Another ill person has come in. Okay. They're just sort of wandering about. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. Let's put in a vending machine. Let's put a little vending machine in because we can. Uh, where was it? Was it under furniture? Yes. So let's put a vending machine just there. I don't like not being able to see the front of the vending machines, but whatever, that'll do. Put a vending machine just there, and then let's get a water dispenser thing, because, <laughs> because I won't want to be there. So that's the front, so that's facing that way, isn't it? Right, there we go. That's two of those sorted. You're right, so where do we put the restrooms? We need a restroom. We could put them here, behind this. Just put the door just there. And that's a good idea. Let's do that, behind the pharmacy. So let's just build it to there, look. And then we just have a small restroom. That's big enough, isn't it? For a few toilets and a couple of sinks. I don't think we need a lot. We don't need a lot right now because it's it's only it's only a small place. So yeah, that'll do. Like that. Build that with a door just there. Splendid. Right, go forth. Go forth, building men. Do the buildings. Yeah, I so say you put you do the hole in the wall first. That's it. Don't build the outside bit. <laughs> Let all the draft in. It's fine. There we go. Sorted. Doors done. Rebars. Yeah, you see, I'm technical. I know these things. They're rebars, they are. I learned all that myself. Okay, these guys are flooding in. This is very good. Right, we've got 13,710. However, can we do that now? Can we succeed at that and get ourselves four and a half grand? Yes, okay. So the next seminar in London, we're never going to do any of those at the minute. Bring out your bed. General Ward. Your patients need to be able to stay for the treatments give them beds and a room to stay okay so wards i don't think we've got wards have we i don't think wards are a thing that we've got we need to do three more physical examinations we get a lab maybe the lab is what we use to unlock things possibly uh, right okay here we go then uh, sanitation toilets okay so let's have one two three four and then a couple of sinks there we go. Sorted. Splendid. And then that can be zoned out. 
as a... Oh, it can't write now. It can't write now because we need them to hurry up and put their things in. Yeah, one of those, one of those. And now it can be a WC. Splendid. So it's got its own little WC, a water closet. Oh, look, there's water and the things and everything. Okay, so now people can go to the look, which is good. So it means I'm not going to do it upon the floor, which I think is probably advantageous. Right, everyone just took a massive paycheck because lots of people just left. Ouch. Okay, now there's two, there's two doctors here at the minute. Oh, look, the, the thing goes to red to show that someone's in the loo. So what's wrong with her? Uh, modest skin lesion. Symptoms are getting worse. Physical examination. Physical examination was inconclusive. Uh, okay. Modest skin lesion is probably antihistamines, isn't it? If you can have a skin, if that's a bit... I don't know. I don't know. So now, yeah, how does this work then? So she's gone back to sit down. So, right, he's going to do a, a prick test on her. The reputation's crept up a little bit. That's a good thing. So, uh, yeah, we just need to wait for... What is it? Another two physical examinations, and we can diagnose all these things. We can diagnose diabetes and urinary tract infections. Mmm, lovely. We can put a blood analyzer. That sounds quite exciting. Maybe that goes in the lab, possibly. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, so you're now doing that. So now the doctor's gone for a sit down. So the doctor has gone for a sit down. <laughs> I'm paying you £45.40 an hour and you're just sitting down. Come and treat some of these people. Look at this person here. This person's literally going to explode. They're going to fall apart and die. A cough, a sore throat, a stomachache, fatigue, red eyes, dizziness, skin lesion, itching, very nose, disp... I don't even know what dyspnea is. Anxiety and unpleasant paralysis. Uh, is there a pleasant paralysis? I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, mm, yes, I'll do a physical exam. Yes, I rather think that's probably a good idea, Doctor. So I think we need to get through as quick as we can. Get this thing done. We need to get another physical examination done. Are you going to do a physical examination on this person? Because that would be really good if you could. And that will ping us up another level. Which would be splendid. Okay, everyone's gone to the loo. That's good, though. There you go. Look, they're being used. Maybe that's what they needed. Maybe that's why they... Does that mean they spend less time in the restroom or something? Uh, in the Sorry, in the staff area rather than i don't know i don't know what's the point of this and apart from the making mess on the floor okay right is that a physical examination that you've just done must have been oh come on come on that was clearly a physical examination you you were examining her she was on this thing yes it went bim, 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 bim. <gasps> there we go so now we've got ourselves a lab wasn't it so a lab so our requirements now build one lab i can do that eight blood analysis two urinalysis Okay, are we making enough money here? Are we making enough money? Like, how ill are these people? This is really irritating. I have to scroll up every so often. So there, she's only made us £70. She's made £140. She's the incredibly ill person. <laughs> you owe us 70 quid, which isn't very much. It's really irritating having to click. Oh, I have to zoom up and down. And uh, you up £531. £531. Okay. So now, yeah, blood analysis and urine. And a blood analysis. There is a thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. Was it a lab? Yes. Desk, office chair, examination bed, medical locker, blood analyzer. Okay, that's going to be relatively expensive, isn't it? I suspect. I think that's going to be... Can we not click out of that room to not show what a WC is going to take? Can we not click somewhere else? Okay, fine. Uh, I don't care. What, why does it show another one? Yes, I get that. So a lab. Yeah, so it needs yeah, a desk, an office chair, an examination bed, and a blood analyzer. Okay, well, let's put that there, shall we? Should we put that along here? Or should we have a little corridor bit along here and put it up there? Yeah, okay, right. Let's 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 ruin my model of having the corridor going in the middle. That's gone. The, those times are gone. Let's have a corridor along here. Like that and then we can have a little room just here which that should be enough i think to fit all those things in however it's oh no no not like that it's very expensive <laughs> it's very expensive all this 2405 okay so let's do that let's get all this stuff built they're gonna need a door so let's put the door just there look why not this can just be a bit of hallway again and then it's yeah this 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 concerns me the money concerns me we're not making a lot of money is there a money bit somewhere is it in here 
Accounting, there we go. Uh, bank account. Uh, invoices. So this is money coming in. So we've only made two grand off of patient consultations. Yeah, we don't make very much, do we? We don't make very much off of the people. Uh, and they seem to be just hanging around. Like, she's the really ill one. 140. 140. I can't... Oh, how do I... <laughs> I can't move that out of the way. I'm st it's stuck. Yes, okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay, I'd, I'd like this to be ever so slightly differently formatted. You are 70 pounds. You are, there was one that was quite a lot, wasn't there? 140 pounds. Where was the one that was worth quite a lot of monies? Oh, there's two stood just there, look, next to each other. One of the, one of you was quite a lot of money. Yeah, can we discharge you, please? Because I'm, I'm fed up. Of having you around the place. So you could just go away. Oh, you've been diagnosed with some patient with schedule for a prescription. Antibiotics at 134. So you should have got those by now. Just take them and go away. Just take them, leave them, and go home. That's what you need to do. So you've been told to go away. There you go. We got some money for that, did we? Yes, we got some monies. Okay. That's gotta be a good thing. Uh, right, so what did this need again? A desk, office chair, examination bed, blood analyzer. So a desk, an office chair, which is nice and easy. We can certainly do that. So furniture, a desk, yes, a cheap desk. Cheap desk. Uh, oh, I can't put it where I wanted it. We'll have to have it like that at the end, like that. So a desk with an office chair. So like that desk and an office chair an examination bed oh no is this room going to be big enough an examination bed like that then a blood analyzer it's three and a half grand goodness me okay fine that's really expensive and now we haven't got much money we're losing lots of money we are hemorrhaging the monies come on i think we need this in and this gives us far better diagnosis of things if we can analyze blood and stuff Come on, come on, come on. Right, the desk is in. Put these other two things in really fast. Build these walls quicker as well. Come on. You're letting all the wind in. It's going on the desk that somehow got computers on it. But I've never ever powered this place. There's no electricity. It must just be inbuilt in the rebars. Eh, rebars, you see. Right, the bed is in. Okay, right. That room now can be a lab, a medical locker. I didn't, I don't remember that being there before, but okay. Oh, because that's already got a medical locker, hasn't it? Medical locker let's put it just there at the end of the bed right okay we have got no money we've got no money all i've done is build a restroom and another room and i've run out of money we're not making enough monies right you guys need to finish this really quickly oh, and then i'm going to pay all your wages we're going to be in debt by the time i paid all the little builder guys wages we probably pay those guys by the hour come on come on come on come on come on right all that's done now you can go into there that can be a lab. Yes. Okay, right. I've got a lab up and running. This is good. Even the walls aren't finished. <laughs> the walls aren't finished. But who cares? Oh no. No one can get to the, no one can get to the lab. Uh, and there's this double wall thing going along here, which is all a bit stupid. Right, let's take those. It's only those walls as well. I don't want the adjacent walls being taken out. Yeah, that's the, the that's really weird. The way that works is very odd. Look, the angle of it is so strange. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, I want to take out that double wall there, though, don't I? Do I not want to take that out? Hang on, I'll get really confused with this. So that's that. So that's the door, is it? Or is that the door? Uh, that, like that, I would have thought. You want to take that out? No, that's a stripe. Of, that's nothingness. That's the floor. Have I just taken the floor out for no discernible reason? And it's grass underneath, is it? But if I do that, doesn't it take out this? That's very confusing. As in just the, the angle of it is very confusing. I've got no money to waste. I can't afford to waste any money on that. Right, we'll, we'll come back and correct that error uh, in a bit. Yeah, that's really hard to sort of see. Okay, right. Now, what can we do for you? Can you do... Why can't we do blood analysis? Why can't we do that? Requires a nurse with a laboratorian skill. Oh, well, it would have been nice to know that first, wouldn't it? So we need to hire a nurse. We've got no money to hire a nurse with a laboratorial skills. Unless there is one already on the books. Is there one on the books? Uh, let's go into here. Let's have a look. 
Uh, staff, nurses, is that one? Is that? And oh, that's a radiographer. Oh, brilliant. You can do surgery. You can do gastroenterological stuff. But, yeah, we have no actual people that can do this stuff. Outstanding invoice is £882.16. That's quite encouraging, isn't it? That's quite good. Can we can we get the money out of these people? What 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 use is that? Like can we go can we click on them from here? Can we go and view them from here? Ha ha ha, right, okay, that's quite good. So you owe us nothing. Your opinion is ah uh, invoice, okay. Lily Reed, patient consultation. Your condition is a hundred, right? You, you possibly need to be seen to your condition is sixteen. You're not well. So what's your thing here then? So Patient was scheduled for prescription antihistamines treatment by Dr. Levi Thompson. It's 525. So can we do that then? Prescription antihistamines. Histamines, how we pronounce it. Why is she going back? I don't really understand why we are going back again. Yep, so someone just took a paycheck. Was that one of the doctors or the nurses or something? Yeah, we're we're already out of money. I'm a lack of nurses. There's been a sudden outbreak of influenza here in Berlin and our nurses can't keep up. Can you spare a nurse? I have no nurses either. And I need nurses with special skills. How are you supposed to make enough money in this game? Am I doing something really wrong? I've been relying on this. We don't seem to make enough money from the, the people in here to, to justify the wages of everybody. Like, he's £45 an hour. And one of his examinations takes like lots of hours. Right, okay, okay. We're going to do this. Uh, policy procedure. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe not emergency. But yeah, physical examinations do quickly. Uh, anything else? I don't think we do anything else like that, do we? So current patients, current capacity. Uh, so we can only have five patients at any one time as well. Is that right? That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? It's playing some very dramatic music going on. Right, there's litter everywhere. The nurse isn't doing anything. You. So you owe us some money. I could send you away. Physiotherapy treatment. We can't do physiotherapy. Right. Can we do treatment like that? You've got painkillers. How can we do physiotherapy? I don't understand. I really don't get it. You. What's wrong with you? You need a physical exam. Well, you hardly owe us any money, though. This is no good. What about this? Let's have a look back at this. Okay, yeah, you. Can, you, can we just discharge you now, please? Can we discharge her? Can she just like go and give us the money? That'd be lovely. We can get another patient in. Uh, discharge you. You're undiagnosed, but do you know what? Let's just send you to somewhere else. We, you can pay us the £350 you owe us. You can go away. We can get some more people in, which would be lovely. If you could leave now. Guys, are you going to go and do what I've told you to do or not? What's that telling me? Bankruptcy, seminars, no, not interested. Need money. Send money this way, please. Okay, I don't really know what's going on then. I can't afford to get a nurse, can I, with the with whatever it was. Uh, what was it again? A nurse with blood takery. Uh, 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 where was it? This thing in here. A nurse with laboratorian skill. Okay, do you know what? I wonder if we can go into debt a certain amount in order to see if I can then get out of this. A search with a specialisation. Laboratorian. And, uh, yeah, that. Post job offer. Right, so I can go massively into debt. And you have to if you want to get one of these things. So that's a... a oh, I didn't read that. That's a big budget for this. But that's fine. £1,603 for a budget for that. And the agency take a grand. Money is very hard to come by in this game. Okay, so urgent headed for bankruptcy. Oh, this has been a short-lived game, hasn't it? Oh, 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 and I'm looking for cleaners, not nurses. Nurse. Oh, good grief, there's a lot of you. Um, okay, you're a laboratorian, which I don't think is a real word, surely. You're actually quite good at everything else as well. So yeah, let's hire you. You can be hired, which is good. And then we want to go into this. So when we need to remove someone, because we can't add any more employees, because it's a six out of six staff. So I can't put her in, look. I can't put the new person in. I can't put Chloe all in until one of these is dropped out. How do I remove an employee? I've got no idea. I don't know how to remove an employee. I don't know. Uh, you? Can we remove you from the thing? 
how do we do this? Oh, there. Hang on. Come out of that. Not unassigned. Okay, now add Chloe Hall. You're in the polyclinic on the whatever evening shift. But let's put you on the day shift. Let's put you on the evening shift. And then Chloe Hall can be there in the day. And that's a good thing. So now Chloe Hall should be able to come in and do some of this stuff up here and make us loads of money. So one of, them, one of them's gone home. So one of the nurses is just gone. But the other one hasn't come in yet. Or are you Chloe Hall? No, you're Trinity Long. Where is Chloe Hall? Oh no, I'm going to go bankrupt on time. Very sorry, everyone. It's very, very hard to make money. I don't know if I'm just doing something really wrong. I mean, he's likely. I thought I discharged the. I thought I told these people to go away. And you as well. Do you know what? You, you can just you can go discharge. Bye bye. Leave. Please leave. Please leave my infirmary. Go away. Get discharged. The nurses stood just here. Sat there. Can you discharge these people, please? I really don't understand. I really don't get it. Have I done something really wrong? Is this no longer a waiting room or something? Is that is that the problem? Oh, right. Because I've added to it, it's decided to unassign itself. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? There we go. Right. Now everyone can come back in. The nurse can come in. You lot can all pay me some monies and then clear off and let some more people in. Yeah, so that was down to three grand. Now you're going to go over here and do some pharmacying. Right. Yeah. Lovely. Do some pharmacying for you. You're doing that. Right. Okay. Okay. So we've got we've got a little bit of money. We've now got some money. Okay. Okay. That's probably a good thing. Right. Ill people coming in. Ill people coming in. Uh, delete the bankruptcy message. Maybe we just keep deleting them. It just won't happen. Maybe that's what will happen. Chloe Hall, you, the laboratorian, go and do some of these things. Go and do some blood testing, blood analysis. That's what you need. You need blood analysis. Everybody needs blood analysis. Yes. Requires a lab? Got one. Requires a nurse with a lab skill? Got one. Okay. Can we do that then? Can we set one to be done? Yep, you can have one. Uh, not the chair. Oh, I've already clicked on you. Uh, you. Oh, no, not you. You can have a blood analysis thing as well, because I said so. You, you definitely need one. You definitely need a blood analysis thing. And uh, you, you look very ill, my good man. Blood analysis for you as well. Everybody go to the blood analysis centre thing place. Yes. <laughs> We're just, just ripping off the patients. Now, how much is a blood analysis thing? How much is one of those? Come on. Come on. Give me the monies. <laughs> I'm going to have no money otherwise. I'm going to be broke and poor. Right. How much was that? How much? Okay, £145 per one of those. Now, can we then, uh, in the hospital, sh this thing, blood, blood analysis. Uh, hurry it up a bit, please. Splendid. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's just speed it up. And it might go a bit wrong, but that's absolutely fine, isn't it? Okay, so now we should... Are we, are we making enough money now? I don't really know. So we need to do this. We need to do eight blood analysis and two urinalysis. Now, can can she do that as well? Like if I said to that, do a urinalysis, is that the same person? Requires a WC in a lab. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we can do that. So let's get two urinalysis done as well. So she can do all the blood stuff. This is good. You can go to the vending machine, spend some money at the vending machine. Yes. Okay, she's going into the... I don't know what she's doing. Right. She's called that person in. Lie there. We're going to take your blood. Bibbly bobbly boo. The doctor is talking to that guy. I still don't like this. It's very confusing. I would think if I click on that bit there, it's going to take out the wall. But no, clicking on the front of the wall takes out the whole wall. Uh, it's a bit confusing. Uh, okay, right. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can get to... Where are we then? So we're getting through our blood analysis stuff done. Then presumably we should do the urinalysis stuff, I guess, at some point. And that'll give us all these things. That'll give us all these things available. So we'll have x-ray scanners. We can prescribe or whatever it is, an x-ray. We can do radiography. Now, I don't know how much money I need to go into for them to declare me broke. I've got no idea. I genuinely have no idea. I mean, this is going to require a ward, a general ward. I mean, what? what's one of those? When do I get to build a general ward? Because I can't build one now. So I really don't know. So let's just wait. Let's see if I can achieve this goal. Right, they've done one of the urinalysis things. Is this the second one? Or is this a blood analysis thing? Yeah, money is not coming in very easily, is it? So if anyone has played this, 
or if anyone's seen anything really obvious that I've done wrong, please do let me know in the comments because I I don't think I've built excessively. I mean, maybe putting in four little toilet cubicles was a, was much, but I mean, even if I built two and one sink, that's still only, two, what, I don't know, two grand I've saved. I'd still be two grand down. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing to make money. It's very hard to actually turn a profit doing this. These people here, in fact, hang on, hang on, what? Pause. Pausing also takes your thing away, which is a bit annoying. Um, you're having a urinalysis. Okay, that's good. All these people are undiagnosed. <laughs> my, my doctors must be absolutely terrible. Come on, diagnose them with something, for goodness sake. Uh, yeah, okay, so now is she going back to do another blood test thing? Yeah, we've got five. So we've done the urinalysis. We just need three more blood tests. So let's see if I can force three more blood tests in. Blood test was inconclusive. Okay. What about you? Uh, your analysis was inconclusive. Blood test. Yes, you love the blood test. And uh, you can have uh, a... No, you've already had a blood analysis thing. What about that? You can... Oh, no, you're already scheduled for one. You, you're scheduled for one as well. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. So when that's done, we will come back and see what happens. But yes, we're nearly there. We're nearly at a radiographics thing. Boop, 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 boop. Little thing is shaking. Yes. Okay. So we've done it. We've got a radiography thing. We've built a lab. Uh, no, that's the same. That's exactly the same. Okay. Right. We've got a bug there then. Because I've built a lab. It's just here. And as you probably just saw, we had eight blood analysis and two urinalysis things on there. It was very much complete. We should have gone up to hospital ward. No. Radiographics, we're at. The previous is radiographics and the current is radiographics. Uh, and yes, we can't... <laughs> we still can't build x-rays. Or the research lab or x-ray. Okay, yeah, that's bugged out. And we're absolutely losing money. What I don't understand here is... How do the, how do the people go away? Clearly, we don't know what's wrong with these people. We can't diagnose these people because, look, they're just sort of milling around, not doing anything. So how do we make them go away? At what point do we say, look, we can't deal with it. Off off your trot. Bye-bye. I really don't understand. I don't understand how we're supposed to make them go away. Is it something to do with this? So either the polyclinic is any symptoms. So anybody comes in and says, hello, I'm a bit ill. And then we see them and send them off to somewhere else. But we've got nowhere to really send them. Unless I'm supposed to create another department for the for this? For the for the blood thing to go into? And call it the blood department? And then say if they've got anything to send them into there? I really don't know. Do you know what I'm gonna do right now? All these people. Uh patients. Uh you. Don't care about you. Get out. Uh you leave they've all got bad reputations this is a problem leave are they they're not reordering are they as we go up the list leave please you leave and you leave you've all been discharged yay happy days you can all go home and it is joyous apart from there's no nurse to take your things <laughs> there's no nurse to take your money nurse seriously you're just sort of sat there what are you doing? You're doing your analysis on nobody because I've just sent them away. Come on. Work it out. Okay, yeah, there's a few bugs in this game, isn't there? There's a few little bugs creeping in. Now, we are in the experimental version of this. Departments are experimental at the minute. But I, uh, yeah, I think this has gone a bit strange. I don't think it's supposed to be doing this. Nobody's doing anything. So now, no one can come in, but no one can come out either. Maybe I need to force her... To leave that room. If I undo the lab. No. She's, st <laughs> she's still in there. And then make it a lab again. Oh look. Now I can do radiography x-ray stuff. And build a research lab. But but I can't. Because I don't know where. Right. Another nurse has turned up. Fine. In fact there's three nurses now. There's three nurses. Right. Come on then. Pay me some monies. 3,000. 2,000. Yes. Okay. My reputation's taking a bit of a hit though. Because everyone's being badly diagnosed. But I don't know what else to do. Otherwise, they're just milling around. The doctors don't diagnose them with anything. It doesn't make any sense. Right. More new people have come in. More people to fleece. Can I do this now, then? Let's see, then. 
So I would say logically, doing that is going to take out that wall. Not enough money. Oh, I can't even demolish walls anymore. I can't even knock things down. Uh, can I put a floor down? Can I do that? No. Can I take out a loan? Can I do anything? What are you doing? I'm really angry. I spent most of my time waiting while visiting TGC Infirmary. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Okay, so the doctor is examining that person who just found it. Oh, she was under the bed. Okay, fine, right. A little bit strange. Weird way of doing it, but okie doke. The doctor comes out, calls the next person. In you go. You are just stood there. Scarlet Rodriguez. Uh, is anyone else doing anything? So you've just got a cold. You've just got a cold. You just need some, uh, probably some some stuff. You've probably just got a cold. There's nothing for cold. There's nothing for cold. How do I know that you've just got a cold and you can just go away again, please? Fever, cough, fatigue, runny nose. Yeah, you've probably just got, like, uh, maybe an allergy or something. Yeah, you've got an allergy. That'll do. Allergy. Typical symptoms. Cough. Sore throat. Oh, runny nose, it says there. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't know. That's not an allergy then, is it? Tonsillitis, fever, uh, fatigue. Yes, okay. Surgery, that or prescription. Yeah, okay. Let's just make. Let's just die. Let's just self-diagnose. Let's just do it myself because the doctors are useless. You, slight abdomen pain, unbearable chest pain. Um, I think possibly you need to <laughs> you need to go to a better hospital than this one. Unusual fever is no use. Thirst, hunger, and nausea. Now, that could be diabetes, couldn't it? Thirst, hunger, and nausea. Yes, you've got diabetes. And what do we do with diabetes? Uh, we prescription anti-diabetes. Okay, cool. Right, there we go. I see, I don't think I should be doing this. Surely the doctors should be doing this work. Uh, slight painful urination. I would say you've got a urinary tract infection. And you need antibiotics. And painkillers, yes, Dr. Penge is absolutely on the flipping ball. Okay, right, come and do the stuff. Oh, the doctor just took his paycheck and he gets paid so much money. <laughs> the doctor gets paid so much money. I'm 4,255 down and I don't think we can recover it. I really don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Can we take out a loan? There's no loan thing, is there? There's no real loan stuff in there. Right, Julia, Ro Julia Roberts... Oh my goodness, Julia Roberts is in. Okay, so she's being consulted. That's fine. This bit's taking an awfully long time. Now she's being consulted again, is she? No, this is now Chloe Barnes. But Julia Roberts is still being consulted. Now Chloe but This doesn't refresh, does it? Okay, fine. There we go. That would have been nice if that would have refreshed, but never mind. Because her you, slight bruising. I think you're probably fine. Uh, you uh, are waiting. You've got urinary tract infection. What are you waiting for? What? Why are you still here? Condit, you're good. Just go, go, go home, go away. Let someone else in who's actually ill. Come on, this is silly. Who's just lurking around, taking up all the stuff, taking up all the space for other people. Um, you've not even been seen. Oh, this isn't going well at all. I don't really understand how to make money out of it. It's very, very complicated. An unusual fever. I mean, that's no use. That could be literally anything. What time did you arrive? Not, not the chair. 19th. You've nearly been here half a day and they haven't seen you. This is rubbish. <laughs> this is the worst doctors ever. So yeah, get antibiotics, please, from the nurse who's sat uh, sat down in that room. There you go. Right. Get antibiotics. Splendid. Go to the vending machine. Give me some money for that. You run... Uh, uh, blah, 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 I don't know where you're going. Right. There you go. And now, do you know what? Just leave. Just leave. Let's get someone else in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bankruptcy. Help in Japan. No. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know how to make money. We started with 20 grand, and all I built, I took out some walls, and I put in a vending machine, and a drinks machine, and a couple of chairs. I built our little pharmacy bit. I built a restroom for comfort breaks, and I built a room here. And I appear to be absolutely hemorrhaging money. Well, hemorrhaging? So what's this? So, yeah, we've made 4,000 from... From just patient consultations, two from physical examinations, some from physiotherapy, prick test, not very much blood test, blood analysis. We do make quite a lot of money from, which is good. 
clearly not enough money, however. We're not making enough money from it, are we? Because we're still very, very poor. Do you know what? You can just leave. Bye-bye. Leave now. You can just go away. You can you can free up the room for someone else. Undesirable swelling. Unusual deformities. Ew. Oh dear. I wonder where they're taking place. Uh, unusual fever is absolutely useless. How can I diagnose just someone who's got a bit of a fever? Abdomen pain and unbearable chest pain. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that could be either. And I don't know when we get bankrupt. I genuinely don't know. We've been lurking around the minus four thousand for quite a long time now. I can't see any means of taking out a loan. Doctor's handbook loan. No. So there's nothing there. I thought it might be in uh, not that one, this one, hospital options, but no, there's nothing there. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think we can take out a loan. We just don't make enough money for the outgoing. I mean, overtime. I mean, yes, the nurses keep doing overtime. It's like, I, I've set you to go home. Go home when I tell you. It's fine. Uh, wages. Yeah, we spend seven grand on the doctors. But. But if we, they're not here, then they can't diagnose the patients to make the money. I don't understand. The vending machine makes a bit of money. Construction does cost a bit, but that's fine. Mission payments. Yeah, and I see we can't get any more of those now. We can't get any more of those. Because that requires wards, and I've no idea how to get a ward. Recruitment campaign, seven grand. It's a little bit harsh when you start the game. When I started, there were no nurses or doctors. So I had to spend... What, two and a half, three grand, whatever it was, on basically getting the doctors and nurses in as well. So I don't know. I don't know if I've done something really silly and I've not noticed. Which, again, is it's a possibility. It's a possibility. No, no. But um, that to do with money making. Otherwise, it just seems impossibly hard to make cash. Um, So right, what I'm going to do is, I'll, I'll sit, I'll have some tea. I'll have some tea. I'll ponder everything. What's that going to say? Yes, bankruptcy. Jolly good. Oh, 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 and bankruptcy. <laughs> They're very, very insistent that I might go bankrupt. As though I'm not aware of this, with this red thing looming in the corner. Um, I'll try and get claw some money back, or have a look to see if I've done something, yes, really wrong. But other than that, I, I really, I really do not know. Uh, there's some people with some quite good invoices on here. Unless we just send them away, I don't know. But okay, yeah, the opinions are bad. It's all it's all very, very, very difficult. I love that we can order it by invoice. Yes, Mia Rodriguez, I don't care if your opinion's bad. Give me all your monies. Thank you very much. Yeah, everyone's undiagnosed. I don't get it. Do you know what? Just leave. Let's just free all these things up for everyone else. So let's see if I can actually get us to make some money. Oh, and the thing's bibbly bobbling at the top. I really don't know what's that. Hospital ward. We can build a general ward. So we obviously did whatever it was for radiography. Um, I'm very confused. So now we've done that. So now we've gone past radiographics to hospital ward. So I need to perform 10 x-rays. I, I can't. I can't do 10 x-rays. I've got no money. I'm absolutely broke. I've got no cash. Um, oh, oh, board directors. Bankruptcy. It seems that your hospital has been losing a lot of funds, and thus the board of directors decide to forcefully shut down your hospital. We wish you the best of luck. So if I delete this, what happens? Anything? No. <laughs> but I'm still here, board of directors. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, have I been forced shut? Oh, I wonder if I can... Oh, yes. Okay. Hospital closed. And that is it. Okay, well, there we go. There we go. That was hospitalised. That was a shorter series than I had planned for. Um, but I don't think I could have done anything drastically different. I don't know precisely what would have helped. I don't know. If anyone, if anyone has seen anything, please do let me know what I should have done. But I really don't know. I mean, yeah, let's just let's just get rid of these people. Yes, you can check out and. Uh, you can go also. You might as well. Let's see how much money I've got at the end of it. When everyone's gone, when everyone's left, how much money have I got? So, minus 3,612. I mean, this room is expensive to set up, but I've not... I mean, it's not excessive. In terms of building, it's not massive. I rejigged this corridor bit, so I've made use of this space. I don't know. It just seemed to be we weren't making enough... We weren't making enough money from the treatments and stuff. We just weren't making enough money. So yeah, if we look at 
uh, invoices. We made five for all time. We made five grand from patient consultations. Yet in wages, we spent eight on doctors. So the doctors cost more than consultations, which I don't understand. And I can't put the prices up. I can't, if I could put the prices up, I probably would. But I don't think I can. I don't think there's any influence on that. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, apologies. Apologies, folks. It's all gone a bit wrong. Uh, yeah, it's not as slick as I was expecting it to be. If I'm completely honest, it's not as slick. It's not as sort of user friendly as I would have liked. And I like some of it. I like the I like the visuals of it. I like the fact that, you know, the people look quite nice and hand drawn and stuff. It's a bit weird that there's only one sort of male patient who's, who, who comes in and one female patient model, as it were, that come in. That, you know, so half the, the patients all look the same, basically. All the men look the same and all the women look the same. All the nurses are the same. All the doctors are the same. All the cleaners look the same. Presumably everyone else would have looked the same as well. But yeah, okay, I'll, I will admit, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed that that has gone so badly, so quickly. <laughs> but, but I really don't know what else I could have done. Uh, was it hiring the extra doctors? on the night shift that did it, but then that means the doctors on the night shift were able to work through the night and sort of sort the backlog. I don't know, maybe I employed very expensive doctors. I mean, you didn't get paid 56 an hour. So his shift, if he works, whatever, eight hours, I can't do that in my head. That's 400 quid. And one of those things is what, well, how much was a blood thing? 145, so we'd need to do three of the blood things to pay his shift. And then obviously pay the nurse and everything as well. Maybe it was just a doc. Maybe I just employed too many people. Maybe you're supposed to start with just with one nurse and one doctor and just have a big queue of ill people in here. But I wouldn't have thought that would be the right thing to do. I would have thought that would be a bad thing to do. I thought having at least one person on each shift would have been optimal. But clearly not. Okay, well, there we go. So that that was short-lived. That was hospitalised. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Apologies, but yes, if, if there was something that I missed, let me know. I might revisit it. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a go on my own. I'll just play it you know, of my own accord and see if I can figure out exactly what works and what makes it profitable. Because, uh, yeah, clearly what I did here did not work. Whatever this was didn't work. Maybe I did things too big. Maybe it was too grand. I, I, I don't know, but I'll, maybe I'll give it a go. But I doubt we'll be seeing this any time in the near future anyway. So apologies. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you if you did like me failing miserably at building this hospital and it turning into a disaster and now it's been shut, then don't forget to leave a like. <laughs> Though I don't know why you would. And also don't forget to subscribe too for more calamitous disasters like this. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Quick, just spray and pray, spray and pray. Quick, kill them. Quick, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the money. No, no, this is bad. This is, this is, this is very bad. Fire! Kill them with fire! The zombies carry around a lot of loose cash, don't they? I'm gonna be alright for that now. Now I know what I'm doing. There's too much going on! I don't know what to do. Oh god, I've run out of everything! <laughs>